Oh, how I love being a lady. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Gracefully Charisse. So I wanted to make some femininity videos because I think it's really important that every girl and every woman just at least gets a chance to nurture her femininity, um, to embrace her femininity. And once I got to my 30s, I just like I've always had like a girliness about myself, but I just started to love being a woman even more and just embracing my femininity and doing things just to kind of just embrace and love on my womanhood let's love being ladies together i'm 37 so for those of you who are younger than me or maybe you're in your 20s or your teens just call me cousin sharice big sister sharice auntie sharice <laughs> let's enjoy so let's get started in my humble opinion i think it's nice for a lady girl woman to have something or some things for her something that's comforting for her something that helps us to embrace our femininity, something that's comforting that you know we can have for ourselves as we go along and do our day to day. Whether you're getting ready for work, doing your hair, doing your makeup, whether you're being a mom or you're nursing or you know, you're being a wife or maybe you're getting ready to go out with your friends, your family, or you're just lounging around the house relaxing. So I'm not a materialistic person, so I'm not saying just go out and get things and I'm not someone who likes to spend a lot. We are going to talk as I show you what I'm going to show you, but one of those things for me that's comforting for me that just makes me feel so much like even more just feminine and just so much so ladylike our robes i know that probably sounds weird but especially kimono robes and i want to show you these beautiful robes that i have and i'm gonna tell you what each one of these robes means to me what it represents i just wanted to share this with you all and i hope you enjoy so let's get started so let's start with the very first long kimono robe that i ever had and it's the one that made me fall like more and more in love with kimono robes this is a beautiful pink one with peacocks on it I love the color. I usually like pinks to be a bit softer. This one was really pretty and I really loved it. It was really soft and delicate and it feels really nice as well. Now the peacock on it, I love like, it's not my favorite bird, but I think peacocks are absolutely beautiful. Just with the color of this robe, just being soft and delicate. And with the peacock being confident and royal looking, you know what ladies? That's the way that we should be treating ourselves and the way that we should expect to be treated as well. You know, just delicate and soft and like ladies. However, we should be carrying ourselves um, with humility yet with confidence, you know. And we should be treated like the royalty, the princesses and the queens that we are, right? And, <laughs> and as a Christian, I know I am... I am a child of the king, so I, I like to see myself as royalty in that way, humbly so. But that's the way we should be treated. Of course, let's not give people and men a hard time, okay? That's what I, I feel, just as a woman, yeah. Just treat yourself with, with love and respect and expect that from others as well, including with men. We should be expecting love and respect as well. So it was bright and beautiful out when I modeled this robe. So you didn't get to see the actual color of this particular robe. So I wanted to show you that it is a deeper pink than it appeared to be. And it's very, very, very lovely. Now this next one, this robe is really, it's, it's kind of like, I feel like it's more simplistic, but I still love it anyway. It's white and it has branches like trees and birds on it. Now, I got this one because of what it represents to me. White is a very pure color to me. It's a very, it's a color of, of purity and virtue. And it's just, this one kind of calms me because I love nature. I love God's beautiful creation and it relaxes me. So seeing the trees and the birds on them, it's just on the robe it was just nice to me and actually honestly there are times when i'm stressed or you know if i'm not having the best day that is my go-to robe it it honestly is like if i just want to relax and i want peacefulness i'm gonna put on the white robe with the with the trees and the birds 
Birds honestly reminds me of one of my favorite um, Bible passages and it talks about how um, birds don't worry. They don't reap nor do they sow, but God still provides for them. They still eat. They, they're just, they're provided for. And God has shown me that in my own life. He always provides for me no matter what. We don't really have anything to truly, truly worry about because God is always on time and he's always going to provide and, you know, everything according to his will. And he's always going to um, love on us. And that's what this rope means to me. And as ladies, we need to remember that that we are loved by god and that we are provided for and to protect your peace protect your peace and make sure that we have a toxic free life and that we don't allow toxic people to um to enter or to remain in our personal spaces so just relaxation and peace now this next one a red one Woo! Oh, yeah we're gonna spice things up a little bit <laughs> well keeping it classy we're gonna spice things up a little bit beautiful beautiful shade of red with lace oh, i just love it so this robe i absolutely love like it was different from the rest and i feel that red is one of the most flattering colors on me if not the most flattering color um, for me to wear but I also love this because it's just romantic red is just a romantic color I'm a romantic type of person I'm a romantic woman and lace is romantic for me as well and you know it's just this is just beautiful and it feels really nice the lace is actually soft on this it's not rough or anything so that's what I loved about this one I apologize for the wrinkles that were in this robe. For the other robes, I was able to put in the washer and in the dryer and the wrinkles came right out. This one needs a little extra help. Maybe try using a steamer. Still very beautiful. <laughs> now this one is actually one that's a little bit shorter than the other ones, but not to where it's too short. I like my kimono robes to still be comfortable to where I can just kind of sit and you guys are gonna hear my stomach growling, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I hadn't been feeling very well. But anyways, um, I like robes to wear, to be long enough to where I can kind of lounge, maybe kick my feet up and not have to like worry about pulling things down too much. So I like this one. I wanted something a little bit shorter, but not too short. Oh, but this one is romantic, darling. <laughs> I'm gonna wear stuff like this when I get married. I'm just, you know, but for now, ladies, if you're not married yet, do it for yourself, you know, do, romance yourself, okay? <laughs> ladies, whether you are single in a relationship or are married, please remember to always take care of yourself for you as well. Take care of yourself emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically. And if you're having faith that you will one day be married and it hasn't happened yet, please know that it is not too early to start preparing for your future husband. Pray for him already, whether you know who he is or not. Take care of yourself for you, your future husband, and your future family. Prepare for that man, okay? He's going to appreciate it. The next one we have is this really pretty toned down gray robe with just this floral print on it, different color flowers. So I like this robe because while I just feel like kimono robes themselves are very feminine, some people might feel like too much pink is maybe hyper feminine and <laughs> maybe they don't like it. And this is still, it still has some pink and purple prints on it, but it's not like too pink. Now, gray is a color that's kind of like more relaxing. So this reminds me, please get the rest that you need, especially when your body is telling you that it needs it. Rest is being productive as well. How are you gonna enjoy the fruit of your labor and be the best that you can be and just live your life fully if you're unwell and feeling too tired to do so. So please ladies, get your rest. I love the flowers on it and I'm gonna talk about flowers in a, in a bit with the next robe, but I really like this one and yeah, this one is pretty as well. Okay, last but certainly, certainly not least, this beautiful, beautiful white robe with flowers that are, the standout color for me was the orange, but it's multicolor, but just take a look at this. So 
so it's a white very pretty the beautiful big beautiful orange and um, dark pink roses absolutely love this one um roses to me mean a lot to me because this rope here represents just how for me as a person and i know for a lot of you and just women in general we start off as these little seeds and we grow and we grow and we grow and sometimes we go through things in life and we have to burst through the dirt burst through that that lower layer and then you come to this new level in life and you blossom you grow you you blossom beautifully and you made it you made it through all the the the, the dirt and in that rough layer in life and i just feel like that's what this is for me it's just like it's a change it's a leveling up it's just blossoming into a new girl or into a new woman and um those moments like that ladies embrace those moments pat yourself in the back thank god for getting you through we need to give ourselves more love when we when we conquer it all, when we conquer obstacles when we go through in life and we make it and we're victorious you know you can always be victorious with god and you can you can make whatever it is that you're going through you can make it and that's what this one says it just says new woman new life new era <laughs> new season it's a new day and i really mean that so i have to share that with you because i just feel like part of being a woman is you know it, we're more than just our outer appearance we we are spiritual beings emotional beings mental beings um we're just we're so much more and i feel like when we get things that comfort us, when we get things that help to nurture our femininity, they should also be things that kind of challenge us to think a little bit deeper, challenge us to um, buy things with meaning, things that we can incorporate in our lives, things that are going to encourage us and not just have them just because they're pretty. You can have moments like that, of course, but I think it's, it's good to just work that mind you know your your mind is a beautiful thing beautiful beautiful thing and i hope that i've encouraged someone out there to really embrace who they are inside not just on the outside of course let's take care of ourselves and beautify <laughs> you're beautiful as you are but you know what i mean adorn yourself but let's also be beautiful on the inside i didn't even know that this video was going there but <laughs> It's more than just about kimono robes. It's about having purpose and, and being intentional in, in the things that we do and the things that we invite into our lives, even if it is just a kimono robe. So, yeah, like, I don't, you look, this is a moment here, okay? This is a moment. And I thank you for having this moment with me. And I'm going to be making some more femininity videos. And I hope that you guys get something that comforts you, that helps you to embrace and to nurture your femininity. But it also means something deep to you. It's also something meaningful to you and something that will encourage you and that will make you smile as you do your day to day. Okay, ladies, until next time, do all things in love and gracefully. Bye. And welcome to my channel. My throat is dry. <clears throat> I was parched. See, when you're a lady, you have to say stuff like parched. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So...